Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to A&W um, All-American Foods. This is uh, um, a restaurant I don't go to very often, but they uh, they have good food last time I was here. So I'm going, they've got a new burger. You can see, uh, maybe you can see that poster right there. That's what I'm going to get. So anyway, you'll hear me when I order. So I'll be right back. I have to go around the building to go through the drive there. It's kind of weird. Yep, yeah, you can't go through drive through unless you go in the back. Um, now I'm going to get you a double barbecue bacon crunch burger, um, the meal. You want fries, onion rings, cheese curds? Um, onion rings. Any dipping sauce? Um, no, I don't need anything. What's the drink for you? Um, just a Diet Coke. Diet Pepsi, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want it regular or large? Um, just a regular. Okay, what else for you? And then can I have a small one of your lemonade shakes? Sure. That's all right. I'm sure. All right. Anything else? Uh, that's probably do me. Thank you. Thank you. This window is really high. Hello. How you doing? It's going to decline it. Do you like the Apple cards? No. Can you try it? I'll try it. <laughs> Okay. Card and it doesn't like it. I got a debit card if it doesn't work. But. We'll try and see. Nope. <laughs> yeah, something about ask the guy who's over all of our technology stuff, and he said that that's what it was. Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it's kind of annoying. It is annoying. I've Oh really? I haven't ran into one yet, but and sometimes you know that's the only card they have on. Right. Them, so there you go. Give me just a second for Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Have Thank a nice you. Day. You too. Thank you. All right. Now we're into a lot of parking. I think I might park over. Let's park over here. These onion rings smell good, by the way. I can smell them through the bag. I usually don't get ketchup or something. Well, occasionally I'll get ketchup, but not very often. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so here's the meal. I've got onion rings, which look excellent and they're very crispy. This one is the, um, I can't remember what it's called. Hold on, let me get my receipt because I'm an idiot and look at it before I started recording. Um, it is the double barbecue bacon crunch which um, has bacon and onion straws and lettuce and yeah, it looks really, really good. Barbecue sauce, looks really good. And then this is the lemonade shake and I'll talk more about it uh, when I come back. Okay, so I got the uh, the combo, which comes with a double, it's a double, uh, barbecue bacon crunch, onion, I got onion rings, which I did charge you a little bit more for the onion rings and it's the regular diet Pepsi. Um, since they did charge me extra for the onion rings, my combo meal was $11.79. And then the milkshake, which is just a small um, lemonade milkshake, it was $4.09. So my total uh, before tax and everything was $17.08. Of course, you gotta pay tax, um, you know, if you have sales tax in your state. So I'm gonna try an onion ring first. There's something that's sticky on this, um, this package. I think it's the barbecue sauce where I opened the burger. Anyway, the, the onion rings, like I said, look very good and crispy and crunchy and, and well breaded. Mm. That's a really nice flavor. Not only do you get the really crispy um, coating on there, and the flavor of the coating, but you also get a little bit of the onion flavor and it's a, it's not a harsh onion, it's more of a sweet onion, which is really nice. Just the breading. Those are excellent onion rings. Those are, um, you know, 
for a fast food onion rings, those are some of the, some really good ones. I like it that they're good and fresh. Um, there were some onion peels on the tray. The onion peels aren't really crunchy. They're calling them crunchy for the burger. The onion straws, whatever they're called. They, they're they saying that's the crunch part of the barbecue the bacon crunch. Um, at least the ones I got wasn't very crunchy. So let me, let me go in. It's a big burger. Pull off some of these large pieces of lettuce hanging off. Go away. Right, I think I'm just going to go in right there. I'm guessing you can get this as a single. Um, I didn't see that as an option, but if you ask for a single, they'd probably give it to you. Um, I like the, I like, I haven't had a double burger in ages. Um, I really like the flavor of the, the burger itself. It's very good. Um, has a good, like char on it. Not like it's necessarily, I don't know how they cook their burgers, if they grill them or they, they um, char broil them, but they, it does have that good um, cooked charred, like a little bit of a, um, a little bit of brown on it. So I like that flavor. You get the bacon too. You can see how much bacon's on there. The bacon's really nice. Now these little onion straws, these right here, that's what's supposed to be crunchy. They're not. They're very, very soft, actually. Almost to the point of being chewy. So while they're supposed to be crunchy, they're not. I don't know if they've, um, I don't know if they've stuck them in the refrigerator or, I don't know, to keep them fresh. I, I don't know what they've done, but they're some, they're all, they're not hot, so they're kind of, they're colder than room temperature, and when you're, um, when you're eating them they uh, they have a little rubbery texture so i'm wondering if they didn't open the package yesterday and didn't use them all and they wrapped them up and put them in the refrigerator to keep them fresh i don't know uh, but it made them very soft they're not like i said they're not crunchy at all the good thing is the bacon has a little bit of a crunch and uh, you get the lettuce on there that has a good crunch to it too yeah. oh i got I didn't mention the, the barbecue sauce. Oh, let me get a drink. I didn't mention the barbecue sauce, but you do get a barbecue sauce flavor in every single bite. Um, it's not a really, like it's really not a spicy barbecue. It's more of a sweet, smoky barbecue, which goes really well with the bacon. So you get the bacon, which is smoky, um, bacon-y flavor, and you got the, um, the barbecue sauce also added a smoky sweet flavor so it goes really good together um is it gonna blow you away this burger no it's not one of those burgers that just like wow that's the best burger i've ever had but it is a daggone good burger um so the onion rings i would give the onion rings like five out of five i really like those they're really good i can see if they weren't fresh they might not be as good but these are really good and fresh and hot so they're really good the burger the burger i'm gonna give a four out of five it's not like i said it's not the best thing ever but it is really really good um there's absolutely not one thing wrong with it it's just not gonna be uh, a gourmet burger they actually had um for a lot of i didn't see it on their menu so i guess they don't have it anymore um papa they have a papa burger which is kind of like uh, i guess that's their their thing um they have one of those that is um or they did have one of those that had, um, I think it was either beer cheese or pimento cheese. I can't remember. It was one of those. It was one of those two cheeses, beer or pimento. Probably pimento, if I had to guess. Excuse me. And um, it was really good. That's like one of the my top burgers that I've had. But they don't. They didn't have it very long. They only had it for a limited time. Now this is the lemonade milkshake. This is a small. It's a pretty good size small for four dollars. That's a good deal. I think uh, you know pretty much anywhere else you go when you get a milkshake, you get this size, and they're going to be a lot more.
You definitely get the lemon. They gave me a spoon just in case I wanted to um, eat it instead of drinking it. Um, I was going, I got it out just in case it was too thick to drink through the straw, but I can, I can handle it. at least the bottom part's melty enough. Um, that has a nice uh, flavor to it, and they uh, gave you the option if you want a whipped cream and a cherry on top. Of course, I got a whipped cream and a cherry on top. It is, um, it has a nice lemon flavor. It kind of reminds you, yeah, it kind of reminds you of a lemon meringue pie. So it's got that little, almost, almost key lime pie like, but it doesn't quite have that bite, that that sour kind of lime flavor like a key lime would. Um, that's not doesn't have the bite that a, a lemonade does necessarily. It's very sweet. It's got that creamy part. You can almost picture this in a um, uh, an ice cream pie with a, um, a graham cracker crust. This would be perfect with a graham cracker sprinkled on top. Um, it's very good. It's very sweet, and it does have a little bit of of kick to it of the lemonade, but it's not like sour or off-putting um it's actually really really good um i was expecting the lemon flavor to be a lot stronger actually but i'm glad it's not it's more like if you've ever had we've got a recipe on tammy's channel if you've never watched we've got another channel it's called tammy dunn d-u-n-n -N, uh, on youtube we've got one called lemonade bars it's really old where i made uh, lemonade bars and um, that reminds me of that flavor of the lemonade bars. Very sweet, yet creamy, um, almost like a, almost like an orange cream sickle, but replace the orange with lemon. Uh, it's kind of like that, except like I said, it doesn't have that tartness to it. The shake, I would probably give it like um, five out of five too, because I really do like it. And the price, you can't beat it for the size. So I got a five, a five, and a four for the burger. I think it's pretty good. A and W is a good restaurant. Their food's really, really good. They're a little pricey though, eleven something for a burger. Admittedly, it's a double burger with onion rings uh, and a Coke, but still, it's a little expensive. So anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.